this is me celestia from the new one celestia once again uh, please guys subscribe there's a lot of hard work behind the scenes please guys please subscribe to our channel chapter six peace at last 10 minutes later the bell rang for tea as virgina didn't did not appear mrs otis sent a footman to find her but the footman couldn't find her again anywhere at first mrs otis thought she must be in the stables when virgina she hadn't returned two hours later she began to panic boys she called to her sons who will see if you can find her but she was nowhere to be found mrs otis Mrs. Otis even asked Mr. Otis to drain the fish pond, but there was no sign of Virginia anywhere. At last, the family sat down to supper. It was a sad meal and hardly anyone spoke. Even the twins were quiet. As the family left for the dining room, the clock in the tower began to strike midnight. On the last stroke, there was a crash and a sudden shrill cry. A panel at the top of the staircase flew back and Virginia started out. Edwin rushed, rushed up to Mrs. Otis, hugged her, and Mr. Otis, Mr. Otis patted her head and the twins danced around them all. Where have you been? said Mrs. Otis rather angrily. I've been so worried you must not play tricks, Virginia. I've been with the cook, said Virginia, quietly. He's gone. He's been very wicked, but he was sorry for everything he had done. And look, he gave me this box of jewels before he left. Four days later, they had a funeral for Sir Simon. The procession left Canterbury Castle at 11 o'clock at night. The carriages were drawn by four black horses, each with a great tuft of ostrich feathers on its back. Lord Cantwell came all the way from Wales to take part. He sat in the first carriage with Virginia. Then came Mr. and Mrs. Otis, followed by Washington and the twins. It was it was all wonderfully impressive. In the last carriage sat Mrs. Omeni. After all, she had been frightened of the ghost from 50 years. It was only fair she should see the last of him. The, ne the next day, Mrs. Mr. Otis had a word with Lord Canterwell. I think we should return the box. I think we should return the box of jewels to you. They are beautiful, especially the ruby necklace. Oh, thank you, Mr. Otis, replied Lord Cantwell. The jewels were given to Virginia for being so brave, and I think she truly deserves them. Virginia wore the ruby necklace whenever she went to a party. However, much Washington and the to inspect, she never told them what happened in the secret chamber. And Sir Simon lay in, the, lay in peace at last, sleeping beneath the soft earth. Thank you guys. This was the whole story. Next story will be will be the Wizard of Oz. Remember to subscribe, like, share my video. Bye guys.